What's up everybody, Zach here with the Nerd Cave. Saw an article that was posted about 22 hours ago over on IGN about Rocksteady letting go 15 out of the 33 quality assurance staff. It's a mix of junior and senior level positions. And this is huge because as we all know, and if you don't know, Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League came out earlier this year and was absolute trash. Um, it's lost about $200 million for Warner Brothers Discovery and they're not happy about it. And Rocksteady has become kind of the butt of the joke after making some of the best superhero games. Scratch that, best games in the last 10 years you know, with the Batman Arkham series, and they're some of my favorite games, but Justice League, not great. Um, you know, even the first looks at it was like, oof, this looks pretty rough, but cutting more than, you know, a, well, a little less than half of your staff that is responsible for quality assurance is kind of huge because guess what that came needed more quality assurance so there is allegedly said that they already recognize that quality will go down in games uh, because there is a smaller team and imagine those team members that had stayed that are you know there they're not going to leave because the games industry is absolute bonkers right now with trying to get jobs and all of that there's tons and tons of layoffs all the time and now you are given the task to qa a game one that already sucks but two you got to pull the weight of another 15 people the you know Everyone that's left there, the 18 people that are left there, you are now responsible for 15 people's work. That's kind of insane when you really think about it. And I feel so bad for those QA testers. You know, it, it is one of the, it, it seems like a cool position being, you know, a game tester and all of that but they are treated usually the worst out of everybody in a development cycle because most of the time it's contract work and once QA is done and the game is launched, they are let go. Uh, Microsoft is known for doing this. Most game companies do this. Um, but yeah, letting go half of the QA staff is kind of insane. And being from somebody that, you know, works in like the creative space doing videography and all of that. I have in the last two years learned how important QA is. It literally can make or break the launch of a video and with a game with having so many varieties and variations and things that could break a game. It's huge because take 15 people you're going to be able to get a lot of different play styles a lot of different thought processes but having a bigger QA team you're going to have way more eyes ears hands on the project to find the things that are wrong with the game and that is huge because case in point go back to cyberpunk 2077 the reason why cyberpunk released to such an abysmal state is because of QA testing. The QA testers was a company that was getting paid essentially by the tickets that they made, the issues that they found. So what did they do? They flooded the ticket system with small bugs instead of the large bugs that got shipped with the game. And then we got the awful thing that was the launch of Cyberpunk 2077. And you look at that and you say, okay, if that happened because of bad QA, 
what is the process of making QA better? How can we do that? And cutting staff about half is not the way to do it. Uh, it is not going to improve the quality of your game. It is probably going to make it worse, which they are allegedly acknowledging that, you know, they're willing to accept that. And it's like, dude, your game already sucks. Why are you going to make it suck even more? So I, I you know, we already knew that Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is dead in the water. But when a company is willing to get rid of the people that make sure that the game is quality, one, they didn't do that great of a job, but hey, when you're when you're ham handed a turd sandwich, you can only do so much. Uh, you can only make sure that the turd is juicy enough and squishy enough and has the right aroma. Um, <laughs> th these are my analogies, everyone. But you only get what you're given. And the state of the video game industry is absolutely abysmal. Um, Tencent has let people go. They They've literally close the studio um it's crazy what's going on not just in the you know united states the western side of things but the chinese market and the japanese market everything is kind of crazy right now uh the yen is valued way less it's worth way less so development is changing uh to fit what's going on in the world and everything so um yeah i i hate I hate it for everyone that, um, you know, has been affected with this layoff. I hope that they find somewhere that they will be appreciated um, within the industry, if that's something that they want to continue. But guys, take it from me, from someone that, you know, does creative work and makes sure that quality is there, cutting your team, cutting them out of eyeballs, it's not the way to do it. It is not going to go well. It is only going to make it harder and things will slip through the cracks. Trust me. Um, there's so many times where I have QA'd something totally by myself and you get to this point where things just start looking the same. Oh, you, you don't even catch things because your state of mind is, your mind's telling you, you've seen this before, it's okay. You've seen this before, it's okay. And when you have a game that is that big and has that much stuff in it, just imagine how many times that happens with a smaller team, you know, and it's harder when, you know, you only have so much time to QA and all of that. So y'all let me know your thoughts about this. I think it's absolutely insane and I, I hope all the best for all of them. So y'all let me know what you think.